Kiyoshi Yabe. This smiling little man comes to us from Nippon with a goodly share of its characteristic sunniness and charm. He was born into a family that was traditionally farmers in Japan. His family were very devoted to the local religions and even as a young boy, um, Kiyoshi Yabe was very um, interested in and was very devout in these practices and beliefs. However, he talks about one day running into a street preacher who was a Seventh-day Adventist missionary in Japan. And he became fascinated by the concept uh, of the Christianity that he was preaching. He began studying Christianity very much in an academic sense. He wanted to know more about the Western world, and this seemed like a very good way of finding out more about it. He eventually made his way to the United States because he wanted to uh, fully learn everything that there was to know about his new religion. He ended up in Chicago, but he felt the university there really didn't uh, embrace the Christian ideals that he was trying to aspire to. So he found himself in Dayton and began talking to various members of the United Brethren Church, which was headquartered there. And several of these men were graduates of Otterbein, they said go to Otterbein, you need to go to Otterbein. So Yabe thought about it, prayed about it, and eventually he knew that that was where he needed to go. So in the fall of 1909, he arrived on campus as a sophomore and began his studies here at the university. There is a wonderful apocryphal story. It is said that in 1914, 1915, somewhere in there, when the church decided to build the structure that now stands across from Towers Hall, um, Mr. Yabe found out about this and immediately went to the pastor, E.E. Uh, e. Bertner, I believe, and he said, I have heard about your decision to build a church. Here is $20. I want to be the very first person to contribute to this church fund, which he was. The yearbook uh, at the end of uh, his senior year, he was described as being, quote, the sunny man. His greatest ambition is to go back to his people and teach them the true way of life.